How you going? Graham from On The Gold again. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking out this episode. So I decided I needed a bucket classifier. Instead of buying one, I thought I'd try making one. And this is what I've come up with. It's the octagon sort of shape. And it's got my sort of twist on it. I've bolted a vibrating motor to the top with hope that I could um, power it to vibrate and class do the classifying for me so I don't have to do that. We'll uh, see if it works. If it does work, I can always unbolt that and just use it as a normal classifier, but just an idea I had. Let's see if it works. Alrighty, we've got a bit of gravel there. I'll just try one. You have to be able to see it because it's dirty, but this is the idea. at six. Wow, I think that did work. <laughs> what a beauty. Well that was some easy classifying. <laughs> the stuff I come up with. <laughs> In fact a mate of mine when I was gonna start this channel he reckons I should call it lazy boy prospecting because <laughs> I always find that the easiest way to do stuff. Well work smarter not harder I reckon. Back at my usual spot out here at Reedy Creek, I had found another spot to uh, test panning last week. But it's a long weekend and there's people everywhere and I could see a car parked near it. So I thought instead of packing all my gear all the way down to the creek and finding someone in the spot, I'll come back to where I've been working. There's still good gold in here. So today I'm going to work this little section. I've pretty much worked all that. We'll get in under here and see what I can find in there. Look at that beautiful blue clay. See what we got in there. Yeah, a lot of um, roots and um, larger rocks in these. Still a little bit of fine gravel. I think the clay is probably holding it up at the bottom. It's not totally work free, but that's alright. What I think is working best is to just do one or two shovels and then empty it. I find if I'm, I was just doing shovel after shovel and it gets that much material that it's finding it hard to um, vibrate. Yeah, the rocks moving there. So I'll just stick with one or two shovels and then I'll tip all the exercise out. Go through the Two. Oh, I'll give that a chance. Probably be good to have it sitting up. Maybe. There's a bit more. It's actually sitting on the gravel now. Give it a little shake. Done. And tip that out. I probably need a void here for it to tip out, get caught on this little ledge here. That's probably half as much work as normal. I like it. What do you think you're doing? Lizard come to check out all the action. See ya. Back to your hole. <laughs> Cool little things. 
Well, now for the relaxing bit. I've got probably 40 litres of pay dirt ready to go. And the only rapids I've got for a fair bit of a walk for Salucin. So yesterday I made up this little unit. Just got like a little letterbox cut out of it there. Bit of rubber on the sides. So I can feed me sluice here. Let's do some sluicing. That's those two buckets run. I was disappointed. I had a really good V showing in the indicator mat, but the last little bit of the bucket, I tipped it in and the water blew it out of there. But I can show you something else. It's all sitting down here. It's a good little pile. There's still a bit up there, but yeah, there was a nice big V through here. Lots of gold up the top, especially that pile. Have a look at that. Looking good. Oh, filling up all the leather in there. That's a great little deposit. That's one more tub, that's another 20 litres of dirt there really to get sluiced. And that's pretty much that deposit worked out there now, what I wanted to get done is done. I've still got to fill it in afterwards. We'll run this bucket and finish up for the day. Time for a clean out and pull this mat and see what I got for the day. That's gold coming out here. The thing about Dream Mat, you, you don't have a lot of cons. I'm still going to use a tub though. If you've got a tub with you, use one. I'll repan what comes out here just in case I wash a little bit out. Oh, I'll try to wash back. See what we got. Ooh, big hole there. It's gonna be hard to see but Yeah, it doesn't look like a bad day. You better look if I can. Let's go over here. That looks like a pretty good day to me. Heaps hidden down in as per usual. I'm not gonna spend too long washing back black sand. But um I've got the point four a Quite a few times out here, 
So, could be another 0.4 day, maybe 0.5, I don't know, what do you think? It's very hard to tell with black sand, isn't it? I'm going to shovel all that overburden and all the sand here back around those roots there. There we go. That looks a bit better. All the fine stuff I threw up there, easy to pull down afterwards. And the heaps of leaves that come off I put over here, pulled them back. Not too bad. I tell you what, when you put it in a small pan and pile it up, it looks more than I thought it was. A supercharged bucket classifier. She worked pretty well. I reckon I might shorten it since I'm, I figured out I only need to put two shovels in at a time and this would probably take about 10 because it's that big and if you wanted to supercharge your bucket classifier you get these off ebay uh, they're a concrete vibrating motor 12 volt worth about 80 bucks something like that not a bad little project well thanks for watching don't forget subscriptions are free all week let's weigh up this gold and see what i got I'm guessing point six. What are you guessing, boy? Point six seven. Point six seven. We are over the seven already. It is point eight three. We'll call it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.